EA Sports within the game. Boom! They put a big hit on him, and he lets it fall out of his hand. Could never fade us. I peep day to stain any time they congratulate us. Goggles is worn and bottles is popping. I'm beyond Sanders on haters. This ice bucket dropping over the head with it. They should have cred with it. You either fight or flight. I ain't one for the ledge living. I do it for the one that died of fed millions. With soul food, blow and stock my bad kitchen. I'm liberated. I drew a play that they ain't illustrated. I make a move they gladly imitated. I ain't flattered. I'm a dragon to your paper castle. The Alpha and Omega promise it ain't nothing after. A new beginning. My catalog like James Earl Jones, the ever living. Imagine if I did make beats, that's more for killing. Imagine if you come from the side by my city. You probably wouldn't make it. Oh, yeah, yeah, really. I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam. I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day. I got extras on the way. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. How much? Extra, extra. Ain't no mileage of foreign dollars configure the road I travel. Don't grab it, that's probably baffle it. Label scribble on paper, they want to shackle it. I own my masters and royalties, you can't raffle it. Wrist drip like a mango. Fingertip like I'm Thanos, knocking those down no bangles. Tango, tailor made, walk with a limp, them bands is heavy, I need a brace. I am money, I guess the world is just a safe combination. Needed not a coca key. I'm the extra lighter on the dress up. I know you need it, smoking out the competition, pouring up, we undefeated. What you heard, what you heard, let's hear we eating, talking by extra with a splash, extra acting bad, pull it like parades on parades, extra with a slab, pay what it call for the tail, extra with the bad, young Chris a king, better add extra on the I go extra to be great. I go extra for the fam, I go extra for the cake. I got extras on the plate. I go extra every day, I got extras on the way. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. How much? Extra extra. Cause I'm on a mission, put me in the game Cause the way I'm feeling, I honestly do not see no competition I gotta get it, so it ain't no quitting We jumped off the benches and jumped in the trenches No one is better than all of us And that's why all of us been winning from the beginning It's more than a kid, no play with my name You come with your goals, I'm bringing my game All of that talking just sound like a show I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained You hear the crowd, they screaming my name I got the stadium going insane Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion You started, I finished, put me in the game Put me in the game, yeah, put me in the game, all of that talking just sound like a show, I'm just laying you know that I'm not entertained, hey coach. 
coach. Put me in the game. Peak Bay gleaming in the distance. We are inside MNC Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today it's week four, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Buffalo Bills and the Baltimore Ravens. Just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. in the NFL. This is Jonathan Taylor. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. They'll take that. 14 yards on play number one. If you start assessing what went wrong last week, Charles, in their loss, had nothing to do with the ground game. That ran away. And you also have to say to yourself as a team, don't go away from what worked. That's not the reason the game was lost. Running the football, 
over time when you do it consistently usually translates into wins. And they're hoping to do it consistently here. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolded. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Marcus Davenport there to take him down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Again, it's Elliott. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 29. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Oh, he pulls over him. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. First down carry by Elliott. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. From the pistol, here's Elliott. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Ezekiel Elliott with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Bills are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Extra point by McPherson up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. He's got him in, complete! And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. A give for Taylor running right side. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. A good response by the defense, sending them backwards after that huge gain last play. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. Now on second and 13, Lance. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Slot man moves right. First and 10, Taylor now. To about the 26 here. The Ravens had 0-3 here to begin the campaign. And you hate to have to say it this early in the season, but getting close to must-win time, is it not? And I totally understand why you... And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. And now the Bills are going to stop it as they call the timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. 
In motion is Austin Hooper. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Myers' kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense for anticipating what's up next. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, Elliott. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop it behind the line. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Throwing his Allen on third. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. After one, 7 3 the score on EA Sports. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. 10th carry now for Elliott, and he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. On the counter, Elliott. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 66 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. They go to Elliott again. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. To throw, it's Allen. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Not quite enough to get into the end zone, but what a nice play there. He makes the catch, tries to turn upfield and get to the pylon, but doesn't quite get there. But they're going to be set up with a first and goal from very short range. Now on the sneak, 
And no signal, but I don't think he got the surge behind center. No, he's going to be kept out of the end zone. Allen taking it himself. And he stopped immediately there. So now it's third and goal. This Raven defense trying to keep him out of the end zone. Allen now on the sneak. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So call that no gain on the sneak. And now they're still a yard short here on fourth. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. McPherson's kick is good. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Throwing now is Lance. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. He took a shot there, but boy, was that ill-advised from my viewpoint coverage was awfully tight how did he get away with that would not being picked off okay right. from the 21 in second and 10 now Lance his throw incomplete fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football but also not getting a lot of help out there either yeah you kind of you nailed it pretty well you know <laughs> he's got to throw it better Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. In motion is Austin Hooper. Throwing his lance on third down. And this one is incomplete. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Lance to throw for it on fourth down. Now he lets it go deep for Kirk. And that's caught inside the 35. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. Fourth down conversion plays, you usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Lance looks to throw again. He'll check this one down to Taylor. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game.
So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Here we go. Here we go. Right. The bring a receiver in motion right. Oh, Lance has it knocked free. The ball is loose. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Send the tight end in motion. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And yeah, this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Inside give to Elliott, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. The give is to Elliott. 83 yards rushing now for Zeke, and he's got a first down. They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he's going to have a Bills first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. In motion to tight end. Again to Elliott. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. From the 45 on second down, Allen. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end, and this will remain a one-touchdown game. One of the few things that hasn't gone right in this first half. They had a chance there for late points, but this one winds up off the mark. A final shot before half for Lance. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So that would have been something from that distance, but to no avail. Comes up empty as we have reached the intermission. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. A fairly short kick from the 14. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. On second down, Elliott once more. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. 
In motion left goes Cooks. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. For the other hand, they told us we've got three and five or less. We have to be able to do that. I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point, and they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. In motion left goes Cooks. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. Man open, it's St. Brown, he's got it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Two catches in the first half, now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 126 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and ten. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Allen gonna throw. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Draw play. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Now Elliott, and this time he's going backwards. So after the no game and the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. 
And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. Give him 30 yards there. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. And he fires one that's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. 20. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Okay, ready? The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. What is that? On second and 12, Allen. Under pressure, and he'll go down back at the 26-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And that's going to leave him with just one timeout remaining still in the third quarter. We'll see if that comes back to Hanna. We'll be back. Here's Allen. Open man. That's the tight end fire move. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. to throw. Here's Fryer Muth again. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and they're going to have a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Bills on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. Again, it's Elliott. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. There have not been a lot of great moments for this defense throughout this game. 
Finally, they have one they can hang their hat on. A nice stop there. On for the field goal now is Evan McPherson. This is a 26-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clipped him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Ready, set. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And you see a lot of frustrated faces as they are inching closer to a fourth straight loss. Ready. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it. Unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Hey, They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Back to the air on second down. It's Lance. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Desperation time here. Lance. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. He's got it at the 15. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 55 yards. Here's Lance. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Robbie Anderson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Ravens are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Italian. Despite the strong run, he'll be hit and dropped shy of the 45. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. In motion right here, Boyd. It's Allen, forced out to his left. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. What a difference a week makes. Five interceptions in their last game. Here we are, fourth quarter. He's played mistake-free football. And I'm sure that we can look back on the past week and say, okay, he spent time in the film room and they worked on his mechanics. Sometimes it's just your team believing in you, your coaching staff believing in you, and you relax and play to your potential. He's doing that in this game. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So first and ten now from the 30. In motion right here, Boyd. Allen now on first down. Taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They'll run with Elliott. Dropped at the 35. So able to display his strength, but not much room to operate. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. to the air. Allen. He's got his tight end fire muth over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 16. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. And apparently not liking what was taking place, so he'll just tuck it and take the sack. So Allen's going to look to throw. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Tyler Boyd. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here we go. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. 
where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team. Yeah. You're in the presence of the realist essence. I've been serving lessons since the days of my adolescence. On the Cypress block, young buck holding the corner. Like we knew it all, not afraid to do it all. Matter of fact, I look back and do it all. I can remember the haters say the game will ruin y'all. What's that to me? Don't give up, give up about a hater. Let them, let them like the, like the, in my paper. <laughs> they call me big dog riding with the hillbilly. Cube won't stay with the lick. Really became a boss, man. 